Hello folks, it's Gordon here. Hope all is well with you. In this video I've called 10,000 meters world record gone. Because it has, it was broken last night. The men's 10,000 meters world record. And also the women's 5,000 meters world record was also broken last night at a meeting at Valencia, which was set up as uh, um, for attempts at world records. And the Tesenbet Gide from Ethiopia has broken the uh, women's 5,000 meters world record. Uh, and Joshua Cheptegai of uh, U U Uganda, that's where he's from, because I want to talk about that in a minute, has broken the men's 10,000 meters world record. Now the women's 5K record had stood for 12 years. The men's 10K record has stood for 16 years, 14 or 16 years. Long, long times for world records to be uh, unbroken, but they've now both been broken. And these world record times, I talk about it with the marathon every time, the, the you know, marathon world record, just over two hours, the official um, world record, they're what I call freak show times. Because the world record set last night, the new world record is 26 meters, 10, uh, 11 seconds. 20, oh, I'll get my teeth in and say that again. The new men's world record for the 10,000 meters is 26 minutes, 11 seconds odd. And 10,000 meters is six and a quarter miles. Hang on, is that right? Yeah, it is right. Uh, <laughs> Is that right? Five, uh, five, six, five. So a mile is 1600 meters. So six miles, that's six and a, that's right. A mile is 1600 meters. So 10,000 meters is six and a quarter miles. That's right. So if you think of a four minute mile, one of the most celebrated world records uh, in athletics and sort of a milestone of human achievement, the four minute mile, set, uh, done, by, first, done for the first time by Roger Bannister back in 1954. So if you think of a four minute mile, if you do that six and a quarter times in a row, you get pretty close to the time that the world record is. You've got about a minute spare, so you've got to do a four minute mile, six of them in a row, and over that time you've got a minute spare and you'll get to the world record that was set last night. It's unbelievable. Because if you think of the four minute mile when it was first done, the public was like, oh, it can't be done. Everyone thought, no, no man, you can't run a mile in four, under four minutes. Actually, in the world of athletics, people knew that not only could it be done, that it was going to be done. It was, it was a question of who it was going to be that did it first. There was actually a bit of a competition about who was going to, go, who was going to do it first. And when Roger, Bannister, when Roger Bannister did it, he had pacemakers. It was done at a specific event with pacemakers. So a lot of people moan about using pacemakers at specific events. Well, remember the four minute mile by Roger Bannister was done basically exactly the same way. So at the time it was a, a stretch of human achievement to break the four minute mile barrier and once it was done for the first time it's been done hundreds and hundreds of times since. So the 10,000 meters world record will be broken again. It's now 26 minutes and 11 seconds odd. Eventually not in the not too distant future, it will be under 26 minutes. There's no, no question about that. So human achievement in that respect has got further to go. That's the key point. We haven't, got, we haven't gone as far when it comes to running 10,000 meters. We haven't gone as far and as fast as we will do. No doubt about that, it'll go under 26 minutes at some point in the future. And Chep Tegai, who comes from Uganda, he comes from a tribe apparently which is thought of as, as 
a less worthy tribe in Uganda. So he's showing what people from Uganda can do and what people from his tribe can do. So it could be argued that what someone from his country and what someone from his tribe can do has not yet reached its potential. This is real human nature stuff, isn't it? About pushing ourselves to see how far we can go. I'm tempted to say we're almost unique, but that's shocking grammar. We are unique when it comes to the animal kingdom that we will push, we question, we question, well, why am I doing this? How can I do, how far can I go with it? Where is the limit? And how can I do it quicker? How can I do it better? How can I do it more efficiently? That is basic human nature, exclusive to humans. Now, if we talk about my Transform Your Life Now message that I talk about a lot, in the areas of health, wealth, career, relationships, lifestyle, on an individual basis. So I'm talking about myself when I talk about it. And in your case, well, we're talking about you. In any or all of those areas, have you reached the limit of your potential? Probably not. Let's be fair. Now, you might say, well, hang on then, smart ass. You're not going to be breaking the 10,000 meters world record anytime soon. So you've reached the limit of your potential. Well, I don't know how fast I can run the 10,000 meters. I can tell you now, if I was running the 10,000 meters today, it would be slower than 26 meters, 26 minutes, 11 seconds. I can tell you that for nothing. It would be bloody slow, very slow. But would it be as fast as I could run 10,000 meters? No. So I'm not at the limit of my potential in that area, not at all. When it comes to health, wealth, career, relationships, lifestyle, it could be argued, and I would say it's a reasonable argument, that none of us are at the limit of our potential. None of us are at the limit of what we can do. And in fact, there's brain science to say that one of the, one of the main things that stops us progressing towards our limit let alone reaching it, one of the things that stops us even progressing towards it is ourselves. Our conscious mind gets in the way of our subconscious mind and our abilities. There's the classic phrase of getting out of our own way. We stop ourselves. We talk ourselves out of our opportunities. We sign up to other people's agendas. We take as gospel something else that someone else says about us. And we take as truth, the negative things that we say about ourselves to ourselves. We think we can't do something, so we just decide that, that that is just a set of words that we've decided is true. But if we decide that it's true, it effectively becomes true because we won't do anything towards moving ourselves forward, will we? So it can be self-perpetuating. Really exciting. This isn't the video I was going to do today at all. But when I saw in the news that the men's world record had gone in the 10,000 meters, I thought, oh, blimey, I've got to talk about that. I've got to talk about limits of potential and advancing towards potential. Now, I'm still not sure. When I talk about my online passion profits side of my content, how anyone can turn any passion into profit online, I also talk about deciding whether to focus on that or my Transform Your Life Now content based around the eight step goal achievement formula that I've used many times in my life. I'm not the first person to come up with it or invent it or talk about it, but I talk about it in the way that I've used it and what worked for me, which has given me the belief that it always works for anyone who applies it. So let me know what you think about the men's 10,000 meters world record being broken last night, along with the women's 5,000 meters world record being broken last night. And how further, how much further do you think you could go in those five key areas of life? Health, wealth, career, relationships, lifestyle. 
Okay, let me know. Love to hear what you think. Leave a comment below wherever you happen to be seeing this video. Signing off for now, wishing you as ever health and happiness. I'll speak to you again soon.